Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at three things. I might look at four if I've got time, but three things in particular. First thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at cyberspace and cyber culture. And in here, we want to obviously make a distinction between these two terms because it's important that we look at the background of them and that we understand how they fit before we actually move on to looking at what we call brands. I've obviously made, it, made a bit of a play here of brand new worlds when it's really, you know, use of the phrase brave new worlds. Well, cyberspace and cyber culture has a particular impact for brands and it creates brand new worlds, as we'll see. Secondly, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the rise of the cyber brand. Now, actually, you'll know a lot of this already. You'll be very familiar with it, but hopefully the first piece that we'll speak about will make sense as it links to, obviously, the second piece in these cyber brands. Thirdly, we're going to actually look at, well, uh, this issue of the cyberspace and what I've called competitions of capital. In particular, I'm going to bring in Pierre Bourdieu here and his conceptions of capital. Now, I know that you've heard possibly a little bit about this before, but I think it should be useful because we're going to have to look at how notions of capital work in cyberspace. And we, I suppose critically ask ourselves, does this make a difference for brands? And if I get a chance, I'll maybe move on to the notions of reality, um, which is a bit more critical. Or I might just leave that for the actual tutorial. Okay, so those are the three things that we're actually going to do today. So let's get to the first one.